Hi everyone. Um, today's dish is Jack Daniel's chicken. Um, I'm doing that today because it's my son's 18th birthday this weekend and it's a family favourite and it's one he's chosen. So I've got my daughter filming me and the light's crap because it's really cold outside. I've got the lights on, we're trying to do it properly but hey, just, just watch what I do and enjoy it. <laughs> um, right, so this is my Jack Daniel's sauce. However, I'm not going to tell you all of the ingredients and weigh it all out because when I actually patent it and it's famous, then you're all going to know what to do. No, I'm only kidding. Um, right, so actually I've got in there brown sugar, red wine vinegar, garlic powder, oxo cubes, um, obviously Jack Daniels, water, I think that's it, a bit of Tabasco sauce. And all you do is bring it to the boil melt the sugar and once it's brought to the boil as you can see it's quite thick and gloopy I can smell the Jack Daniels, it smells lovely but once it's brought to the boil then you simmer it for 15 minutes and let it reduce to a sticky um, sauce basically and this you can either I'm doing goujons of chicken but you can either um, pour it over your chicken or spare ribs at the end and then bake it or again you can do like a tempura batter and drop well put your prawns in and dip it afterwards so that's the first stage of the dish and let me just bring that to the boil and then you men are going to like this bit two plump breasts <laughs> they're all going Organic breasts. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they are. They're from the butchers. So organic chicken, and we need to cut, cut them into cubes. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh god. Okay, let's be serious. <laughs> Last time I had my other daughter filming. I'm just taking the fillet off and just slicing them into pieces. So we're just going to have nice goujons. <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> this was supposed to be a serious one but obviously it's my younger daughter. She's 21 on Wednesday and she's been a fool, so there we go. We've got some nice goujons there. Those will be fine. Let's just trim off those bits. Right, that's ready. So now we've got to flour, egg and breadcrumb the goujons. I've got a couple of organic eggs in here. Just beat them. We've got some seasoned flour and breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs I use, you can obviously make your own or have your own ready in the freezer. Um, but panko breadcrumbs, they're available from most supermarkets. Um, I think I got these from the Chinese supermarket, but they're available from all good stores. So easier obviously as I said I'm a full-time working mum and to do this in the evenings it doesn't take too long but that makes it a lot easier and as you can hear the sauce has come to the boil now all the ingredients are dissolved and what we do is just turn that down to a simmer and let it go into a sticky mess turn that down a bit there we go so flour egg and breadcrumbs There comes the dog's mining because he wants a little bit. If he's lucky, he'll have a little taste later. Oh, have a look at the sauce. 
now. That is obviously bubbling away now, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Don't want it to go over the top. You can smell the Jack Daniels, it smells gorgeous. <clears throat> This recipe came from an American website probably about mm, 10 years ago and it said it was the real Jack Daniels um, and I have to say my kids all love it, you love it don't you Heidi? I do indeed. Um, I think I've had everybody that's eaten here has loved it so um, it's just a well tried recipe. I do When I do the pork ribs I actually um, cook the pork ribs on the cooker first slow cook them um, probably for about half an hour with onions, carrot, bay leaf um, and then once I've done that I then pour the sauce over and bake it for about another 35 minutes and it comes all crispy and delicious. So. I'm just going to do a few of these just to show you for this exercise because I'm only doing one portion at the minute and you won't get bored of me watching me flour egg and breadcrumb chicken. Uh, that's one. It's nice to put it as a sharing platter in the middle of the table or if you've got greedy guts then you're going to have to serve it out because it does go quite quickly. There we are. So, I'm just going to rinse my hands. Just check the sauce, have a look in there. I'll pop the timer on. So it's on 15 minutes, I'll turn it up a little bit. Let's get rid of these. Yes, and my daughter loves her dog. He's a puggle, he's a cross between a pug and a beagle. So, uh, <laughs> he's... Say hello YouTube! <laughs> he's gorgeous. Yes he is. Right. To go with the chicken, I'm doing deep fried noodles and a um, white cabbage salad. Um, not really so much for Marcus, but more for me. Marcus is my son who's 18. And it goes really nicely, a little bit of crunch and crisp and cheese in it. So I'm going to prepare that. Right. Heidi's kindly grated the carrot for me a bit earlier. And nine. There we go. So what you need to do is finely shred cabbage. You can either use white or green. Uh, green. The red cabbage. <laughs> and the dogs in the cat tray, which is not really what I wanted, but hey. mode again guys sorry <coughs> so that's some nice white cabbage nice and crisp pop that in the bowl uh, do some celery this is probably why this isn't for my son because he doesn't like celery he doesn't really like blue cheese he's okay with carrot but everything else so again, I'm just doing a portion for one, so it's just a, an idea of what you pop in. Handful of carrot. 
Om du inte får det. I think this is the last time she's going to be filming for me. Uh, I'm going to do some apple batons. I need a bit of lemon juice. So just squeeze that in there. And let the pips stay in your hands. So they don't go, so the apple doesn't go brown. bloody small, too small really. Um, it's amazing to think what I've created in this kitchen and how many people I've cooked for. How many people do you reckon I've cooked for in here over the years, Hi? Mm, a lot. A hell of a lot. I'm not a cordon bleu chef. I was trained as a chef, as I said, as I mentioned earlier. Um, so my presentation probably isn't fantastic, but I always know tastes and flavours are there. So let's pop those into a bowl. Just with lemon juice. need now is the cats and dogs to have a fight. <laughs> what? Well, no, that will be the next thing. Yeah. I got the giggles today, but uh, yeah, I suppose it's supposed to be natural, isn't it? That's what happens in my kitchen. There we go. So, pop the apples in. For reference from the camera lady, I'm going to be in big trouble after this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be serious. My first one was quite serious, but there we go. So you've got white cabbage, carrots, apple, celery, um, and we're going to have some blue cheese and parsley in there as well. But to bind that together, I've got a um, little bit of sauce, so so you can see this. Tablespoon of creme fraiche. Tablespoon of mayonnaise, you can have full fat or light, this is actually light. Actually, I don't think the flavour makes much difference whether you have whichever one you have. Um I'll actually put the pot back on. This is actually mild chili powder. So well known brand there. And then just a sprinkle. That's enough. With salt. Again, I like fine sea salt. Um, I've got all the salts that you can grind, etc. Here, Himalayan salt. I've got my own mixed spices here. Mixed salts. Use leftovers. Whether it's chilies, fennel seeds, normal salt, black pepper. Pour it all. Put it all into there, and then have a handful of that. I've got molten sea salt and then various ground black peppers, ground chilli salt, everything really you need to season, um, but that's not going in here, that was just fine sea salt and a little bit of white pepper as well, and then the other half of the lemon juice, so again squeeze it between your fingers. Pips. There we go. Sauce is falling away nicely, as you can see. 
I think I did this on telly. I was with somebody that made me giggle. I think I've been hysterics all the time. But if you just said something wrong, you're supposed to be like really serious. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they'd want me actually on their show. Um, right, a little bit of parsley. See? <laughs> Chopped parsley, fresh parsley today. Mm. That's nice. A little bit tart, um, but once you've got the blue cheese in there, it will taste really nice. Put that in. There we go. You want it to stay crispy so you don't add too much of the sort of binding sauce, I suppose. Got a nice crunch. It works nicely with this sweet um, Jack Daniels chicken. And then in there, I've got some Stilton that I cut up earlier. It can be any blue cheese, so if you, whatever you've got, let it flow really. Or if you don't like blue cheese, it can be cheddar. It's just whatever you'd like. Um, you know, cooking's about all what you like. And yes, you can follow a basic recipe, but then you can adapt it to what you actually eat. So let's get rid of that. Those. And then I'm just going to put a spoonful on here, ready for when we serve up the chicken. That's really good. Right, we'll clean again. So we're going to move on to cooking the goujons. I've got a pan ready just with vegetable oil in it. I'm going to turn that up to a high-ish heat and put the goujons in. I think they probably take about six, seven minutes each side. So not too long really. Get rid of that. Um, a couple of toppings or a couple of things that I put with it. Hang on, let's move this down the kitchen. Where there's root, spring onions, sesame seeds, and then also um, noodles. Just normal egg noodles. So sometimes I cook them, um, sometimes I buy them ready made, but they're just cooked according to the packet. So these are the standard egg noodles I'd use. It doesn't have to be that particular brand, it can be own brand, um, it just needs to be the medium ones. And these are ready prepared, as I said. And what I do is basically deep fry them um, again about 10 minutes, 5 10 minutes until they're crispy, drain them, and then that gives a nice crispy bed for them to sit on, for the goujons to sit on. So, yeah. put that one on as well and get that nice and hot. How many minutes are we on? How many minutes? 20. I don't want you guys to get bored and think, oh my god, I'm not watching that again, but I think we've given you too many giggles this time not to watch it again, and next time I'm going to have my serious daughter filming me. Hey! <laughs> so that's looking nice. Look, you can see how it's thickening up now. Ooh, delicious. So at this stage, it's probably got, yeah, another few minutes, but you can then take that off the heat and then pour it over your chicken wings, your chicken thighs, your chicken legs, um, your pork ribs, like I said earlier. And chicken pot. Chicken. Pot. Stop whispering behind the camera. Just being an idiot. So, what I'm going to do now is just move that pan to the front. Put one on the back, put this on a higher heat. The noodles. So 
check the oils already and just get a bit of bread and just check it rises to the top. Trying to be healthy with a whole breaded, whole seeded, super seed loaf. But actually don't enjoy it. There we go. So that's the sauce ready. I'm actually going to leave it on, but just turn it really down for a little bit. Let's get both the oils ready. leaves and a little bit of sauce on the side so if you fancy me doing that let me know or if there's anything on the on the repertoire that I, I can cook most things I don't know it's Italian French Chinese Indian but obviously it needs to probably be about 30 minutes so you don't get bored um, so any suggestions let me know if you do enjoy it please subscribe um, anything you think I could do Hyde Mm. Pate? I can make pate, yeah, but uh, then it's going to be set, isn't it? And then it's. Oh, I suppose, yeah. We won't see the finished product, but yeah, chicken liver parfait. You like that, don't you? Mm, it's really good. Yeah. Oh, that might be about right. I should have put these on a little bit earlier, really, but there we go. Never oh, mind, she's making me laugh too much. Put another little bit of bread. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go, that should be ready now. In. You don't want to put too many in at a time so it doesn't boil. So for a portion, I would probably have four. There we go. Let them cook through on either side. This looks ready as well now, the oil for the noodles once again you just want a little base so yeah. little handfuls okay. I think that should be enough obviously if I'm doing it for the whole family I've used the whole pot um, because I've got as I previously mentioned Three children and a husband, and as I said, I'm a West Ham widow. Me I'm a West Ham widow. <laughs> so today they're at Middlesbrough, um, Middlesbrough away. So West Ham have actually had quite a good winning streak at the minute, which is great. Husband to Anson come home happy. So let's hope they have a winning streak today, even though it's away game. It's all cooking away nicely. This is when this is the exciting bit. You do all the prep and then bring it all together. Just turn them over, they're browning nicely. So you don't want to give anybody raw chicken. So I don't know. 
about six minutes, six minutes each side, I think. This is a plate my daughter bought me. I'm just showing you because she's the one who's filming at the minute and you can obviously see what type of character she is, as in a bit of a fool. Hey! <laughs> Right, you want to drain both the chicken and the noodles, get rid of any excess fat. I want them to be nice and crispy there. I've got two plates ready for that. There we go. Um, what else? Jack Daniels ingredient, just normal Jack Daniels. Um, husband drinks it, Jack JD and Coke. I don't drink it, I don't like it, but in the sauce it's absolutely delicious. Oh, we've got sesame seeds ready to sprinkle on. Just to finish it off. And then also have some chopped spring onion. So, top and tail. I'll slice like that because I think it looks quite nice and it's There's no particular reason. There's no wrong or right, but I just like it. Get your fingers out of the way. I used to, when I trained at college when I was 16, I used to be able to do that really fast. I've lost it a little bit now there. <laughs> I suppose if I did it a bit more, I'd, I'd get back into it soon a bit. Right, let's just check the chicken. It to be turned again. Be nice and crispy. That looks nice, hey? Yummy! It's <laughs> one of her favourites as well as it's done. Um, well, like I said, all the family love it really. We've got over the giggles now. <laughs> and I'm not sure. You're going to have to comment on it. You're going to have to say, well, actually, really, you shouldn't be giggling and you should be getting on with it. Or it's good to see that you're human and you're having a bit of fun in the kitchen because that's what I think it's all about. Having fun and enjoying it. I work as a sales manager. I am quite have quite a stressful job, but I find cooking is my release and I really enjoy it. Um, so at night, most nights I'll cook, unless I'm away, um, and I do quick, easy dishes. At the weekend I do tend to spend quite a lot more time in the kitchen, but in the, in the week don't have as much time, so. Right, noodles are ready, let's put those out. Just drain them. I'll get rid of any excess fat. Chicken looks ready. Sauce is ready. They're all coming together. Get yourself some tongs if you haven't got any. Um, you can get expensive ones, big ones, you can get barbecue ones, small ones, whatever. But they're great just to take deep fried things out of the fat. There we go, they're looking nice. So, let's pop this all together. Just get rid of any excess fat. There we go. Pop some on the plate. even make these dippers just for young children um, without the Jack Daniel's sauce obviously you're not going to give your three year old four year old five year old the Jack Daniel sauce I don't think might make them sleep well but I don't think you would so then the pot oh, look at that. 
I'm excited. I'm excited about my lunch. Oh, no, I was going to pour it over like that, but. Just put a little drizzle on top. So you've got your dipping pot on the side. Spring onions. Sesame seeds. And voila. That's the dish done. How does that look? Is it easy enough? I think you could do it. We are going to have to try it. And last week, Heidi, <laughs> Heidi said I was like Nigella, and I don't want to be like Nigella. However, I now realise why she is like she is, because you're passionate about food, you really enjoy it, and you can't help say what you say. So, Heidi, I'm sorry, but here she goes. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfectly cooked chicken. Mm, can't get off for Jack Daniel's sauce. Delicious. I've got sticky lips. And I am gonna go. <laughs> I have. See? She's laughing again. Sti I am just gonna go and enjoy this now. So if you've enjoyed it, subscribe to me, like it, give me any ideas what you might want to see again, and hopefully I'll see you guys next week.